something I forgot to mention in the last song is you may want to bring in your song. So for music to work in Unreal Engine, when you export it, you do not export it as an MP3, but as a WAV file, okay? So I've already done that, and I've actually picked one of the songs that one of you guys created. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to go to Unreal Engine, and I'm going to create a folder or content, and I'm going to call it Music. So go New Folder and Music. Now, you probably only have one file, so you could technically just upload it here, but let's keep it organized. Let's give this a nice color so that we know it's ours. I don't know. Let's go with pink here or purple. And I'm going to, again, upload the music. I'm going to go Import the Game Music. I'm going to go get... I just downloaded and this is I think the end wave file and I can press play to get it works so I'm going to go back to my uh, sequencer and now the truth is it's going to be really hard to set up your animation to work with this but if you have it it's not a bad idea if you can kind of use it to inspire you I get that you know, we're all kind of using already um, something, some pre-done animations. And by the way, that's already there. So what I'm going to do here is go track. I'm going to add an audio track. Now be aware that this will not export with the project. So you really kind of need to keep a copy of it. So I'm going to go get my auto track. And I think it was called song. And even though I could go search it, there it is. So I'm going to go and put it here. And... Just start from the beginning using this button. We don't yet have the camera or the fireworks. We just, what we're doing. All right, so he's doing his little dance. Now I'm going to cut this down. And what I want to do now is I want to talk about cameras. So I'm going to create the first camera which I'm gonna go here and I'm gonna call it cam one. So right click and rename this right away or press F2 on the keyboard. Um, this is where we're going to rename, I'm gonna go cam one. Now for grade, grade 11s, if you wanna do just one camera, I, I guess I'll allow that, but I'd rather you do more than one. Uh, and one of the things we're gonna do here is I'm gonna show you, I'm gonna change the focal point to 110. Okay, which will create like this cool blur effect and we'll do this with all our cameras and so watch when I was when I press enter here so it'll be really out of zoom but we're gonna fix this um, when we start filming so one of the things we can do right away is under the camera is if you go under uh, do, 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 do. Camera component here, actually, I think, is what I need to do. Um, I need to be under details, that's why. Um, so I go to focus settings, and I'm going to click here and click my character. And immediately it'll be in, in zoom. And if I step away. So the thing is, right now, for my first camera, I'm looking at where's my first shot. So you may also have to keyframe the uh, zoom. So I'm going to do it again, and now he's in focus. Um, so, so the manual focus, does, click it here, okay? So that's where you keyframe your distance. So if the guy starts moving, he goes out of focus. I don't think he will be doing that much. Okay. That's about where my dance stops. So that's where, you know, you're supposed to have at least 20 pretty happy with that so that camera is set up now I think you should have two cameras minimum but so how do you do that press two same thing we're going to do the same thing again and this camera is going to be uh, the far camera let's say so I'm going to go press f2 or rename and I'm going to go this cam two okay and same thing here do I want to use you could use a different aperture um, experiment 110 see what happens it'll zoom them in right away and don't worry about that camera there it will not appear in the scene so even though you see it right now when you actually let's say i want to film them 
I'm actually going to go from this side. So you get a different angle. And, you know, this is, you may still need to, like, let's say you were going to film from here, delete this tree, okay? It's not too late. That's what's so great about Unreal Engine, the ability to do that. And I'm going to go up using the E key. And so I'm going to get this angle. So I'm going to get, go to the ca camera component. I'm going to do the zoom on him now. And I am going to just manual focus, set that. And I also should set the, where the camera is. So let's pretend I wanted my camera to start here under the transform track. I could go to where location is and just click. So that's where I want that camera to start. So we got two cameras. I could even create a third. So let's do it right now. And this one's going to shoot from the back. And cam two, you could even write it in. So I'm going to right click, rename, cam three, and back. That way you know what it's supposed to be doing. And I think we're going to do the same thing with this one. We're going to go to the back first, though. So using the W E R K A W A S D keys, just move to the back. So you're going to get filming. If you need to delete anything in your scene, it's going to make it way more interesting. Okay. So here's all our cameras set up. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to start by saying I want that to be there. This is in focus. If it's not, you could just click on it just in case. Go here, focus setting. Click. Make sure he's in focus. Check it. Now all my cameras are set. Okay. So I'm going to stop there and I'm going to show you how to uh, film with them in the next video. Okay. Thank you.